an increase in the demand of a good can be due to many non-price factors. Some examples are changes in taste and preference of consumers, a change in consumer expectations of future price changes, and a change in consumers' income. This would increase the equilibrium price and output in the market. Let me use the diagram of the demand and supply curve to explain the process to you. The curve sloping downwards is the demand curve, which is known as the DD curve, whereas the upward sloping curve is the supply curve, which is known as the SS curve. We will use the example of margarine. When consumers become more health conscious, they choose healthier alternatives such as margarine over butter. This increases the demand of margarine. The demand curve shifts from DD0 to DD1. And if the price of margarine remains the same at P0, there would be a shortage of margarine as shown in a diagram. Because of this shortage, the price of margarine would rise from P0 to P1 as consumers are now willing to pay more in order to obtain margarine. The quantity of margarine would then increase from Q0 to Q1 to meet the new market equilibrium. Therefore, both the equilibrium price and quantity of margarine would increase when demand increases. How then can we determine the extent of increase of the price and quantity of margarine? The answer is to use the price elasticity of supply, PES. PES measures the responsiveness of quantity supplied of a good due to a change in the price of the good itself. It can be measured as the percentage change in quantity supplied of a good divided by the percentage change in the price of the good. If the supply of margarine is price elastic, which means a price change causes a more than proportionate change in quantity supplied. Quantity supplied is regarded as very responsive to price changes. The more price elastic the supply of margarine is, the bigger the effect is the increase in demand on the equilibrium price and quantity. There are many factors affecting the PS of a good. Some examples are time period, degree of ease with which new firms can enter the industry, and the cost of attracting inputs from alternative users. Let me use the price elastic supply curve to explain the process to you. In the long run, when producers have sufficient time to expand the inputs easily, supply of margarine would become price elastic. PES would be bigger than 1 but smaller than infinity. Graphically, the supply curve is gently sloped. The bigger the magnitude, the more gently sloped the supply curve would be. If the price of margarine increases by 10% and the quantity supplied increases by 50%, the PES coefficient will be 5. Thus, the price elasticity of supply would increase the quantity supplied of margarine to a large extent. If supply of margarine is price inelastic, the PES curve will be steep. If price of margarine also increases by 10% and the quantity supplied increases by only 5%, the PES coefficient will be 0 0.5, which is smaller than 1 but bigger than 0. Thus, the price elasticity of supply would increase the quantity supplied of margarine to a small extent.